Here's what y equals sine x looks like. I'm going to draw two cycles. There you go. That's good enough for me. OK. Uh, I'm going to skip straight over b, right? Because I think that's somewhat boring. You're just going to turn that upside down, right? So all these, um, these hills become troughs, and all the troughs become hills. So that's fine. What about this one? What's going to happen? I'm not even going to draw it, because remember how I just described this one, right? Hey, what kind of function is sine? It's not just any function. It's an odd function. And for odd functions, these two things are the same, are they not? Okay. So in fact, any odd function, what does that mean geometrically? If you flip an odd function upside down, that's the same as taking the odd function and flipping it left to right. Does that make sense? You can think about this guy as well. He's an odd function as well. All right, now let's put onto, the, onto this graph. What's the absolute value of sine x look like? I'm just going to put it right on top. What would you like me to do with it? Yeah, all these negative parts, they're going to flip up, aren't they? So you're going to get this guy. This is the same, but then this comes up like that, right? So what I've just drawn is why is the absolute value of sine x? Ah, OK, now it starts to get a little more interesting, right? Let's have a look at the next one. When you apply an absolute value just to the x. So this guy, what's it going to look like? Think about what happened when we did this with our parabola over there. Hmm. OK, first thing we can notice is that just like over here, uh, here, right? Everything over here is fine. It's just like what it was before, because the absolute value of those positive things is still those positive things. So it's still going to look handy dandy identical. Okay? But then, what happens on the left? Hmm. Do you remember what happened here? How would, you, um, how would you verbally describe this to someone who can't look at this picture? If I already had the right hand side, then this is just. Yeah, it's a reflection across the y-axis, right? So this is just going to give us a reflection across the y-axis. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> not bad. Okay. That's not bad. I'm not used to drawing sine curves in that direction, so it's a bit funny. Okay. There you go. What is this? This is the sine of the absolute value of x. Okay. Just before you run, can we quickly do because the most fun one is why I went straight to this one. Um, the absolute value of y equals sine x. Uh, this is going to be fun. All right, quickly, let's just draw it from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. I want to call your mind back to this. Remember when I asked you this? And what did it mean? Yeah. Put a negative there, what happens to it? It doesn't exist, right? So look at all these negative bits, right? Those parts of the graph, they're going to be useful, useless to me, okay? However, all the positive bits, uh, here's a positive bit, and uh, here's another positive bit, they're okay. Yeah, they're okay. But that's only one half, right? Do you remember what happened when we did it here? You're going to get a reflection. You're going to get, well, not quite, because these are not vertical, are they? Right? So you're going to get these kinds of shapes, like that. Now, just think, as you pack up, right? Of course, it has to be that, because look, where's the absolute value? It's on the y's. It's a vertical thing. That's why you get vertical symmetry. Right, does that make sense? And this, you get horizontal symmetry because the absolute value is on the x. Does it make sense? Okay.